y'all i just got my covid vaccine um and i couldn't really record much because it happened so quickly uh but i guess i'll keep you guys updated i don't know i just wanted to say i got the shot i wish i could have made this like a cool video but as we all know i kind of suck at this so and also i was at work all day and i was tired and i was just like let me just get this over with so yeah i got my covid vaccine it was the pfizer one and yeah i have to come back on the seventh seventh wait okay so may 7th is my next appointment and um yeah i was lucky enough to have my sister be able to help me get an appointment since she works at this urgent care and yeah i don't know if i i don't know what this video is this is boring should i just do it like I don't know what I want to do with this. This is just like a little life check-in. I think that's what it is. Why is my shirt so down? Was it like that the entire day? I had, I had work. I said, I already told you guys. I don't know why I'm still talking. This is so awkward. Hey guys. Uh, oh my God. It feels like it's been a while since I've done like a fashion, like a little outfit. O-O-T-T. So I got my pants from my yard. Right now I'm wearing everything expensive. I got my shirt from Urban Outfitters and everything exclusive and everything. I, I got my shoes from Ivy Park. Exclusive and everything icy. I and I got my necklace from an Etsy shop. My sister got it for me for my birthday. I don't want to say too much because I don't want nobody buying. Right, one more. I'm literally out of breath. That's embarrassing. Good morning, you guys. It is 10 in the morning, and so I just decided I'm gonna get Starbucks. And I also wanted to update you guys on my vaccine. I got it in my left arm. Oh, I just oh. I just found out how to zoom in, and so I'm gonna be overusing it now. Sorry. I just pushed on it. It's it's sore, which is normal. Not even for a COVID, vac COVID vaccine. It's normal for any shot like that I've ever gotten. Uh, most of my flu shots usually make my arm numb. That's why I did it in my left arm because, you know, I was prepared for that. And yeah, so it's going pretty good. I haven't gotten any of the, like, symptoms of, like, you know, just like the regular symptoms. I think that's that comes with the second shot. So we're all good today, I guess. Every time I go out, it's always so cloudy. Like the like it was sunny earlier, and that's why I was like, I'm gonna go out today. And now it's kind of cloudy. Like it looks sunny, but um, on this side it's not. Mm. Hold on. Can y'all see? Like okay, there's some like sun or sky showing through, but other than that, it's pretty. It's pretty freaking cloudy. Also, we got a bird feeder and we put it in the backyard, and I'll be inserting some clips. I don't know what bird that was but it was so cute and tiny and like it was so pretty it was like a grayish bluish gray with black and i mean you saw the clip anyways what else was i gonna say and blue jays and cardinals and um doves come and like some little brown birds i don't know what, i don't know my birds like that but um yeah they come and eat over there too and some squirrels too i'm at starbucks and of course the line is so freaking long it's kind of annoying honestly i don't know if you guys has, have noticed but um literally why has like the quarantine made drive through so like unbearable you know like i can't like i want this drink so badly i'm re-watching my clips and like i sound so stupid it's like like i just sound so dumb and so like i don't know literally what i'm doing right now i just sound so stupid and i also sound very like monotone monotone Um, I don't remember if I told you guys, but I'm, like, trying to catch up on my podcasts and my shows and, um, what else? And my YouTube videos and all that. Because work is, like, literally taking up most of my time, which I, I'm fine with. I don't care. Like, obviously, like, I'm choosing to work. But, yeah. So, I'm, like, it's the 17th today, and I'm listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast. 
And earlier, um, I finished uh, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, I don't remember if when Good Girls comes out, um, I'll have to double check that. And I also finished my YouTube videos yesterday. I watched like Chris Clemens, Carly and Aaron, and just a few other um, YouTubers. And yeah, so that's basically it. I guess my life is kind of boring, so like this life update is not all that, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm making videos just to make videos. Like, like there's some videos that I genuinely enjoy, and then there's some videos where I'm like, uh, this is like, mm, like whatever. This, I'm just gonna post it because it's cute. It's like a memory. And then there's some where I'm like, whoa, this is terrible. Hi, do you guys have the brown sugar oat milk? We do. Okay, could I get uh, a tall brown sugar oat milk, please? Tall? Yeah. Okay. And that'll be all. All right, what's your name? Alex. Okay, we'll see you All right, thank you. The last two times I came, they literally said that there was a brown sugar national shortage. So, I don't know. I feel like I've been trying to get this drink for the longest time. I had it last time. I already uploaded the video. I had it, but I don't remember how it tasted. And sometimes I remember a drink tasting good and then I taste it again. And I'm like, uh, what? This is kind of nasty. So. Also my like fake name or like my name i use for restaurants and fast food is alex i don't know if i talked about i think i talked about it in my popeyes mukbang i just want to make it easier for white people <laughs> i know i'm white but like american white people you know because not everybody can pronounce much much like it's not that hard but yeah so cute so cool so quirky <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the segment is. It's not. It would make my life really difficult. But my fantasy has been to move to New York for years. And so, talking to my friend who lives in New York about how he's become blind to it really made me realize how the grass is just always greener. And maybe having New York as this escape is like the perfect recipe. I move there. It won't really be gossiping fuels my anxiety more than anything else on this planet. Now I'll explain. I've always been somebody that... Y'all, I'm trying to get like a cute coffee. video um, of I me listening to a podcast and drinking gossip. coffee, but it's There's not, it's not going cute. It's not looking cute. Gossip. And then there's gossip in a sense of talking. Y'all, I was trying to make it a little aesthetic video. Aesthetic, aesthetic video. Oh my god. It's not working out, obviously. I got the vaccine too. Plymouth downtown is literally my happy place. I know, I mean, I don't even get out of my car, but it's so pretty here. Like, look at this. I mean, once the trees are growing, like, it's gonna be cute. Yes. Yeah, I suck at making like aesthetic videos or whatever. Like, bro, I really want like a cool vibe. Like, you know, like those like quirky YouTubers <laughs> or whatever, you know, like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, I just want to be cute, but I don't know how to film correctly. Uh, uh, I think these people thought I was recording their dog and they they were waving while I had my phone up and it was like, um, I'm recording myself. If it wasn't obvious already, I wasn't fasting. Or I'm not going to be fasting for a Ramadan. But, uh, sorry, y'all. I just don't feel like it. And, uh, yeah, it, the reason I'm telling you is because I'm at Taco Bell. And this Taco Bell is so nice. Literally, it's, like, one of the nicest ones I've been to. Like, people-wise and just, like, food and restaurant-wise. Like, it's, it's just nice, you know? I like it. Hey you guys, um, 
Yeah, I'm not Taco Bell. I already told you guys that. I don't know why I'm... I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got a job. I don't know if I already said it or not, but... I'm not gonna say where I work publicly, because I, I don't know. I don't wanna get in trouble, and I just don't want, like, to represent them online, because, you know, I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna associate myself with them, just in case. So, you know, because I don't wanna get fired. But I always have Taco Bell, and I always pay for the person behind me, ever since, okay, so let, let me tell you the story about it, how it started. Also, sorry I'm talking fast, and sorry that I kind of got off topic really quickly, but I was at a Starbucks, and a lady paid for me, and ever since then, every other time that I go to, like, fast food, I pay for the person behind me, um, because it's a nice thing to do, and it's like, that lady, when she paid for me, and, like, I paid for somebody else, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that person then pays for the person behind them eventually you know and it just keeps going on and on and on and it's like it just passes on sorry a mosquito was on my windshield but i got sakura with my pepsi of course um yeah so let's get into it i work morning shifts uh which is cute. I like this. Oh, they forgot my straw. That's why I always have an extra straw because I know they're always gonna forget it. Not always, just most of the time they always forget straws. Yeah, I work morning shifts from 6.30 to 3. It's cute. I like it more than my last job. Like, it made me realize how much, how like terrible my last job was. Like, truly how terrible. I just thought I was sensitive and, like, lazy or just, like, I don't know what. But, like, they just made me think that I was just a terrible, like, person. They just made me feel so stupid. And my last job, not my current one, my last one. And just, like, this new job, everybody is so kind, so patient, and willing to listen to me and um, teach me and all that. Um, yeah, it was just, I kind of, I don't know, I just, I hate that I experienced my last job, like, it was, it was just so terrible, like, it was something that I did not have to go through, but, what can you do? I don't know, it's just so crazy to me, like, I can't get over how terrible of a job it was, like, in the moment, I didn't realize, like, I knew that I was being treated terribly. And I knew that I wasn't happy. And, like, I was at my, like, lowest point at that job. Or one of my lowest points. Because I have multiple. <laughs> but this new job is treating me nicely. And I'm hoping, eventually, I can save up money for a laptop, camera, editing software... A sewing machine, a print press, an iPad for graphic design. Um, and yeah, I just want to be able to start like doing everything that I've ever dreamt of doing, you know. This is so good. I'm like in love with it. I don't know what else to talk about, like... Like I said, my life was kind of boring, so I don't really have many updates other than I got a job and I got my vaccine. What about you guys? How are you guys doing? She gave me the receipt which they usually don't do for the other person. And girl, it was $22. Should I read what they got? Is this an invasion of privacy? I don't know. Hopefully this isn't illegal to have their receipt. Cause that's my card number on it. So I don't think it's illegal, but. Okay, so they got a beef soft taco, one water, one chicken quesadilla combo, which is a chicken quesadilla, a beefy crunchy taco and a water. 
two beefy five layer burritos, one chicken power bowl, one medium tea. I did not know they had tea here. Is that what it is? It says medium tea. I don't know if that stands for something else. 10 mild sauce. And that's it. And that comes to 22.30. Um, that's cute. Having their own little mukbang. Yeah, I usually rip up my receipts because I throw them away and I don't want people to steal my information. Did I tell you guys? My old job had a security breach and so my information was most likely stolen. So hopefully my identity doesn't get stolen. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I might go back to school. I might not. I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. I t was telling everybody, yeah, I'm going to go back to school after my break. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was not planning on going back to school at all. Like, I was just saying that to say it so people would stop bothering me about it. Especially family that was like, you have to be in school. What are you going to do with your life if you're not in school? First of all, I don't think I truly need a degree for graphic design. When most of the stuff I can learn, like, I can learn it on YouTube. Um, sorry I'm making all this noise. I'm trying to shut this thing. Anyways, I can learn everything on YouTube. So it's just like, what's the point of going to school for all that? And then, um, what else? And I just never truly planned on going to college. I just went for one semester, so everybody would shut up talking about college to me. And then dropped out knowing I wouldn't go back. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I feel like everybody's like, thinks that, oh, since I went on a break, it means I got comfortable with my break and I don't want to go back. And it's like, no, I just never truly planned on going to college. And I think most people are like that. I'm assuming most people are like that. Where they tell people, oh, I'm just going on a break. So that's easier for them to um, accept the fact that that person doesn't want to go to college anymore. And it's like an easier way to let down parents and be like, oh, I'm just going on a one semester break. I'll be back. And they keep pushing it off saying, oh, I'm just on a break. I'm on a break. But they never truly intend to go back. Or at least that's how I am. I'm assuming everybody else is like that because it's like, it's easier to tell people you're on a break. So that's like, cause it's like, what's so special about college? Like, n especially now, what, like a degree does not guarantee you a job. It doesn't, it doesn't guarantee you anything. I'm sorry, but like, I've seen it happen firsthand. Like, I know people with degrees that are not even like getting accepted to jobs that their degree will let them get into, if that makes sense. You know, it's like a waste of time and money in my personal opinion. Um, I'm not shaming anybody that still goes to college. Like you can do whatever you want with your life, but it's not for me, especially right now. Like I wanna like live in my youth and do what I can right now. And then I could just go back to school when I'm like 30, 40. Like I had classmates that literally had like two kids and one grandchild. You know, so, like, I, I still have time ahead of me to go to college if I truly aspire to get a degree. But, um, I, it's just not for me. It's not. And, like, I don't, it's just, especially since I'm not trying to be, like, an engineer. I'm not trying to be, like, a scientist or a doctor or a lawyer. I want to be an artist. <laughs> you know, like... I just, I don't understand what that paper does for me that YouTube couldn't do for me, you know? Like, I can learn everything on YouTube for free. And, like, nobody that is going to buy my art is going to ask for my degree. You know? Nobody that is going to, like, like, what? Well, I just talked so much that my cheese quesadilla is cold. It's so hot. Sometimes they put no sauce and sometimes they put a lot. 
I like when there's a lot of sauce and there's barely any sauce in here. Not I'm playing. It's so good. Also, this car next to me. Oh, excuse me. This car next to me has um, Pokemon plushies on their dashboard or wherever that. This thing, I don't know what it's called. I know nothing about cars. Yeah, this cheese case idea is not cute. I'm trying to make my editing style a little more updated, a little bit more like funny and comedic. Um, or trying to at least. Lifeful, I don't, I was gonna say that word, but that's not even a word. I don't know, I just don't, you know. Y'all, I just dropped my cheese quesadilla. Ignore how dirty my car is. That's so gross, but... <laughs> oh my god, how am I gonna reach this? Well, I can't leave it there. Hold on. I can't even reach it from the back. I don't know how I'm gonna get this piece of bread out. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, yeah, goodbye. Oh my god, it's so dirty down there. I kind of, I'm kind of disgusted, sorry. Also, I'm trying to get it out with this fork. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on. It's... Wow, I, my car is so dirty right now. That's... <gasps> okay, this is gonna be my actual outro. Uh, I swear I'm not a dirty person. But it looks like it, like... I swear, I'm not. This is so embarrassing. My car is so dirty. Like, I try to clean it, but, like, there's some stuff that won't come out. Okay, bye. Don't judge me.